Hello 212 students, today I'm going to show you how you can use a definition query to limit the results you see in a layer you, you have displayed. So here I have a layer that has the provinces and states of US and Canada. And let's say it had too much information that I didn't want to look at. If I was only concerned with, for example, the United States of America and not the provinces of Canada. Should I go download a whole new layer or can I just use this layer? Well, you can actually just use this layer and choose not to display Canada, uh, and I'll show you how. So first we're going to open the attribute table and take a look. And we're going to find a field that differentiates each of these states based off whether it's in Canada or the US. So as you know, each of these shapes is corresponding to a row. And you'll see that one of the first things that each of these rows has is it says what country it's in, whether it's Canada or the United States of America, in this column called admin. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on it. We're going to go down to, we're going to right click on it under the content tab, the layer. We're going to go down to properties and we're going to go to this one, definition query. And we're going to click new definition query. So what we're going to do is we're going to say where, and we're going to choose the column name where admin is equal to, and we're going to say there's two options. We're going to choose United States. So we're saying keep the ones where admin is equal to the United States of America. Watch what happens if I click apply and OK. It got rid of all of the Canada ones. Now let's say we want to do the opposite. What if we had uh, tons of countries, but we only wanted to, uh, we wanted to show all of them except one for whatever reason. We can say edit and I can say is not equal to. I'm going to click OK, and instead it's going to show Canada. OK. So we can also use definition queries uh, in different ways. There's a lot of options we have right here. I'm going to show you a very useful one. Includes the values. Includes the values allows you to choose multiple values. So let's say I wanted to choose, um, for example, if I wanted to choose a few states and I knew their names. Let's say I want to choose our Pacific states, which include, um, which include Alaska, Hawaii, California, Oregon, and Washington. I could go find the column that has that information. It's going to be name. And it's here at the top. I'm going to say includes the values. And right here, I'm going to choose all of those ones. I'm going to say Alaska. And I'm going to say California. Now I'm going to find Hawaii, Oregon. See, I'm just checking them. And Washington. OK, and now it's going to include all of those ones. And those are the only states that are showing up. All right, so we can also use numbers, fields that have numbers. You'll recall in a previous video, we created a field called area, which is the area of states in square miles. Let's say I only wanted to show states that were above a certain uh, square mile. To do that, I'm just going to go edit this, and I'm going to say I want the only the states where the area is greater than, oh, and let's just try 100,000 and see what we get. I don't know if this is going to show us anything. All right. So you can see it's only showing the sizable states or provinces that have a very large uh, area in square miles. OK. So let's show you a few more things about definition queries. If you want to keep a query, but you want to like just not display it for right now, you just uncheck this, click OK. The query still exists, but it's not activated at the moment. Let's say I wanted to have two different criteria. Let's say I wanted it to sit be in the United States and I only wanted the ones that are above 100,000. Because right now it's show, showing the Canadian ones too, which is all of them apparently. Um, what I can do is I can go to properties and I can actually edit in here and I can add a clause and I can say area has to be greater than 100,000 and 
the uh, admin has to be equal to United States of America. See? And now it's showing only the US ones. Now take note, and means that both criteria must be true to show the given state. Okay, so it has to both be larger than it has to both be larger than 100,000 and it has to be United States. You have another option, you could say or. This is different because it will show anything that meets either criteria. So if I say or and click apply, now it will show everything. Why is it showing everything? Well, because it shows all the United States no matter what because at least one criteria is fulfilled and it's showing all the Canada ones because all the Canada ones, while they aren't in the US, they fulfill the other requirement. So what happens if I switch this to, and it has to be in Canada? Now it's showing all the Canadian ones because they all fit at least that criteria and it's showing the United States ones that are above the certain area because they don't fit the Canada criteria but they fit the criteria that they're above the approximate area that we're looking for. So that is how we can use definition queries to show and not show certain things in our layers.